So starting with the very first question, Dhruv, um, I think let's start with your journey. Uh, how was your journey? When were you ever uh, uh, an average boy or did you change orbits somewhere middle? How, how, have you, how have you been in academics since your early days? I was studious, but I was, I think, I was not very good. But I, I, I did. I was trying to be studious at least. I was not so good. So, uh, did you ever change orbits? Orbits in the sense, I mean, yeah, at some point in ninth grade or somewhere that I realized that I, sh I do want to be smart. Sort of. So then I started studying a bit. So, uh, when you, when, when you were, uh, when you were studying this, how, when did you come to know about physics Olympiad? Uh, Olympiads ki tiyari kab shuru kari? What, made you, what motivated you to go for Olympiads? In Pune where I stay, uh, math Olympiads are very famous. Everybody is known to be good at math. But yeah, and so similarly at some point in ninth grade, I learned that there is this examination called RMO, which is a math Olympiad. And gradually around the same time between ninth and tenth grade, I realized there are similar things in physics as well. Uh, I mean, I had no work, so then I decided, let's do this. Dhruv, a lot of students have been, you know, pouring questions, asking about your preparation methods, your resources that you follow. So, can you talk about uh, the books and resources you followed in chronological order? order? Before I, I mean, around the time I met Sir, I was doing, I had done that at Sevarma, and then I was doing Eroda. Because I think one of my, Seniors had given me a copy of Eroda, so I was doing that. And I had Croto as well, but I mean, I hadn't done much of that. Then Sir introduced me to Pathfinder, which was, I mean, pretty tough at that stage to start solving. But then somehow we started doing that. And then at some point, I mean, we were done with all the easy questions of Pathfinder code. And at that time, we did all these INPHO and USA. I mean, they are pretty similar. We did those. And then we finished the rest of Pathfinder. Because like that one year when I wrote NS IOQP, as it was in that year. In year 2020? Uh, like when 20, he was in class? 21. In 21. Yeah, I mean, in so, it was okay. like NSCP 2020. Yeah. So, okay. so right yeah, now we're yeah. talking we're talking about tenth grade, right? When yes. he was in tenth yes. grade, yes. after yes. completing HCV, um, uh, you were doing Erodo Kroto, but not not uh, in a structured manner. And when you came in touch with Chandan sir, you started Can't doing Pathfinder. Path yes. And when so. once you started doing Pathfinder, you were able to you know go through all the easy ones. Uh, but yeah. before you picked up, uh, before you picked the tougher ones, you uh, there was a stage uh, where you solved US PHO questions. USA and, and the Indian ones as well. And, and, but that year I failed very badly in both IOQPs, the, the first part of IOQP, whatever. But then after that, we finished the rest of Pathfinder, like, which was a big chunk, which was like, we, have, we finished that. And then I think since then I'm just doing papers which are just translated, either from China or uh, Russia or China. Yeah since then. And then obviously the Asian Physics Olympiad and International Physics Olympiad of past years. So what I'm understanding is, uh, apart from completing H.C. Verma, uh, the book of H.C.V., both both volumes, um, and and partially completing Erodovs and Krotovs, right? Partially. Yeah. Or yeah. have you completed them completely? At this stage, yes, but at that point, no. Okay, at that point, no, but right now, you begin to say that you've completed... Yeah, I mean, around that... Okay, and Pathfinder. Besides these three books, you have only and only done Olympiad questions, be it Indian questions, be it USA questions, be it China questions, or be it Russian questions. Am I... Am I, am yeah, I, am I mean, there, there, there are there are, there are other, other books as well. Uh, many good reference books are there, which also have problems in them, so I did those as well. And then there are handouts, obviously, of Jan Karla, which are very, very famous, and Kevin Zawas, which are also famous. So, read a few things from those. And, yeah, the, there, the other books are like, they are reference books, which also have problems, so some of those I did, like Morin Griffiths and all. There was a stage when I think Sir and I were just doing Morin. Morin. Yeah, after, after, 
बादाम खाता है चार बदाम खाता है पांच बदाम खाता है सो ध्रुव लेट लेट गेट इन टू दैट आपका डेली रूटीन कैसा था जनरली वॉट हाउस योर शेड्यूल I don't know where this culture of uh, this timetable should be there. I don't know where that comes from. Probably from Jay, but life doesn't work like that. You can wake up when you like, sleep when you like, study when you like. I did exactly that. Like there was no fixed time. During the uh, when it was it used to be close to the exam, I used to practice papers at the same time as the exam, which was the morning. That's the only thing that I had a schedule for. Like in at the morning, in morning, generally eight eight thirty, I used to give the exam. As as I said before, all the problems I've done are from exams only. So that used to be the only thing which used to sort of stay fixed. And that too just before the exams. But apart from that, like whenever I felt like I was to study, whenever I felt like I was to sleep. So Back, did you ever encounter backlogs? backlog in the i mean we never really had such things as a fixed target that i should be done studying this by this time so i mean if there is no no target then there is no backlog but yeah we have, because it used to be like this i will give one test on monday one on wednesday one on friday no What is on Monday? It is done on Monday. I mean, it, there's no way like a discrete test can be passed from Monday to Tuesday. So, therefore, there was no backlog. Okay. Uh, did you ever oscillate between resources, books, uh, or were you disciplined uh, in terms of which content you are solving? Okay, so I was exploring a lot of different places to start. To so I, I on one side I used to be solving these uh, papers at Sir K and. on the other side i was just learning physics for the heck of it so i used to download lots of books and i still do that and i am doing that right now but yeah so so i mean there are thousands and thousands of books like i mean they are all available pirated although i should not say that <laughs> they are there so somebody should use them. okay so okay. one more thing hari sir like i think he said he doesn't have a routine right and yeah. again i think i just want to clarify that because like students might take it otherwise okay that uh, he doesn't have a routine it does not mean like okay he doesn't write okay i'm going to study uh, uh this book from 3 to 5 pm he only means that okay it was not fixed okay i'm going to do this into 3 yeah i, I do to, something but what i does not mean he didn't do some, anything on some days and he kind of like okay went off grade for like whole month and then came back and like for 5 days he studied or things like that no, he i i meant like so what is to be done was generally not fixed so i'm sure i mean i think uh, what i am interpreting is uh, it's not that uh, dhruv is a very very uh, i would say a superhero or with extra extra powers he's just like all of us he's just like you students um and then it's just that he he's he's kept things simple to be honest he's kept sim kept kept things simple in the terms when whenever you uh, feel the need to study you study it's as simple as that and whenever you are stuck keep trying it's as simple as that there is there is no best yeah. method or best timetable uh, it's, it's 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 basically up to what works for you so mm-hmm. it's, it's just and keeping it simple isn't dhruv amazing well the biggest thing that i learned from this conversation is keep it simple if you are passionate about anything if you really love anything then there is no secret recipe of of success it is just about keep trying keep trying keep trying and keep it simple so my dear students if you too want to go for gold if you too want to bring gold for india next year vidantu is just the right place for you we have dedicated physics olympiad courses starting with stage 1 preparation and going till international physics olympiad preparation to know more details you can check the video in the i button or the link in the description box wish you all the best take care